Hi guys, this is how to play the absolute beginners, really super easy version of Love Me Do by the Beatles. Um, this is including just your E major and A major chords that we learnt in the first stages of my beginners course. Now, uh, playing it in this fashion means that we cannot play the middle eight to this song. There's someone to love. And as I say, this is appropriate for people who I've only learned a couple of chords and this is maybe the second or third song you have ever learnt. If you would like to play the full version with harder chords, which would be with a G, C and a D major, then you'll want to check out the link in the description below, check out my website, I've got the chord sequence up there for you, all the sheets of the, the whole song, but in this video we're going to be checking out the absolute beginner's easy version so that you guys can play it. All you newbies, hello newbies, we're going to learn some super easy songs. Um, so, the vast majority of this song is two strums of your E major and then two strums of your A major. And if you'd like to count that along to a beat, simply count one, two, three, four. And most of those strums line up quite nicely with when Paul McCartney and John Lennon are singing. So, love, love me do. And uh, if that's something that you would at some point like to get into, you can kind of envisage yourself singing and playing at the same time, um, this is a perfect place to start doing that because we're strumming and saying the words uh, most of the time at the same time, which is the hard part when we come to singing and playing along later on. This is a really great way to start doing that. Um, so, it's quite a quick change because we're kind of constantly changing from E to A all the way through. Um, but if you've done some songs earlier on in my beginners course, I'll come from the absolute beginners first video, then this should be something that we can take on. As I say, generally two strums of E and two strums of A. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As a warm up to this, you may wish to just kind of pause this video and play E to A as quickly as you can, just one strum of each. Just drill it and see how fast that, that, is, that is something that you can do. If you need more help with how to play these chords, please check out that Absolute Beginners First video. I go through it in fast detail about these chords and um, it should enable you to then come to this video and play these songs. Um, so if we can join into me, if strumming on every beat is a little bit tough for you, just strum the, the first one per chord. So one strum of an E, wait, one strum of an A, wait. So love, love me do, you know I love you. If your fingers just aren't behaving and you can't quite get those extra strums in, one strum per chord is absolutely fine. But we're going to slow it down a little bit. We're going to play every beat if you can. I'm going to count you in and you play along to me. Okay? So, in E major, in three, four, one, two, then to A, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and last one. So one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we need to make sure to make get this sounding good because we're going to be doing it a little bit faster to be able to do it onto the record in a second. So let's make sure it's sounding good first. We need all your fingers on their tips. So if you can see my fingers, we're, the way I do it with my students is if you can get a finger or a pencil through the bottom hole here of your guitar, then everything should ring out great and we know you're on the tips of your fingers. When you go to your A chord, you keep your first finger down, slide it over, and you can play that A chord easy peasy. 
we need to do this routine of E E A A three times. And then on the third time, over the words so please, we're going to stay on the A chord and we're going to stay on that A chord for another four strums. So for example, love, love me do, you know I, that's the second time, third time, I'll always be true. We play the A twice and then stay on that A for another four strums, so please, two, three, four, and then we stop and mute our guitar with the outside of our palm, it's called palm muting, we stop the sound and that's where he says, the title of the song, Love me do, and we're going to start again, E to A, it's two strums of E, two strums of an A again, on the word do. So again, there's lots of things happening here that are on certain words, and that's why it's a great one to kind of play and sing along to. So from uh, the A chord, it would be four strums of the A, stop and pause. So we're going to try and include that, and I will give you plenty of prep for it. Uh, that it's that it's coming. I'll give you plenty of warning, but we're gonna go from the very top. Okay, so from your E major chord, E to A three times. Stay on an A. Pause. Three, four. Love, love me do. E to an A. E to A one more time. E to an A. Stay on the A for one, two, three. Stop, love me do, to an A, whoa, E to an A, and pause there, that's one round of our routine, and if you click uh, the link in the description, you will see the chord sheet for this song, and we'll see how that is written down, you'll see the chords lined up to the words where the certain words should happen at the same time as you strum, and it should become fairly self-explanatory what's going on here. After you've done that routine once, we just do that whole thing one more time again, straight away. Like the bottom part of it goes straight back to the top and we repeat it again. The someone to love section, we would need a third chord to play this, this part. And that's not appropriate for this stage in the beginners course, so I'm not doing it in this video. But it will be on the chord sheet if there are people watching this video who have the ability to do it if they, if they can play it. So, we're going to try and do this now twice through your whole routine, okay? So we're going to go for it as if we're playing along to the record and we've joined in from when Paul McCartney and John Lennon start singing. So from the top, let's do the routine twice. Play along to me. Three, four. Love, love me do. This is your last time, stay on the A chord. So please, two, three, four, mute, love me do. Just E to A a couple more times. And then we're gonna go from the top in one, two, three, four. Love, love me do. You know I love you. I'll always be true. Stay on the A chord, so please. Love me do, whoa, love me do. And that's your routine for this song. If you play this along to the record, which I highly advise that you do, because it's great fun to play along to songs that you like on your guitar, just pause for the someone to love section. Just start playing, give your hand a little rest. It's probably aching, you know, it's, it's quite an in, a lot of changes for, for uh, new guitarists. Uh, pause and then join back in again from love, love me do, and then you're away basically until, until the end of the song there. Um, if your chords are still not kind of sounding perfect, or you think, hang on, they're not sounding like mine, um, make sure that you're strumming all your strings for the E major, and again, that we're on the tips of his fingers, and you're over this side of the, the, the fret, kind of your side of, of the frets. But on the A chord, if you can, and this is an added little extra that will make it sound even better, try not to strum the thickest E string. Try and make sure that the thinnest ones all ring out really great, 
but we just try not to hit that thickest E string. Otherwise, it kind of still sounds like an E. I'll give you an example how. When I strummed that A chord, kind of still sounds like the first chord. It doesn't sound like we've changed, but if I play the thinner five strings, suddenly it's like, oh, it, it comes to life a little bit. All the life and brightness of your guitar, especially on acoustic, tends to be on those thinner two or three strings. That's where all the, all the nice harmonics are. Um, and that's how to play this song. So as I say, click the link in, link in the description um, to see the chord sheet for this video. There's also, uh, you can come back to this uh, song a little later on in my course when you know a G, C and a D chord. And there's the chord sheet um, of how to play it with those chords also on my website on the same page. Check out some of the other videos at this level with just two easy chords, E and A, and I'll see you again in one of those.